In this video, I will show you how to log back into your hacked Google or Gmail account without having access to two-step verification. There are two ways, either you can use your Gmail application, then alternative method you can use your web browser. So I will show you how to recover through your web browser. It doesn't matter which browser on your mobile, just open your default web browser. After opening your browser, go to search bar, then type and search this word gmail recovery without two-step verification search that one after that you will get this kind of search result you can ignore the first one the first result from gemini then you have to get the second search result from google help center select the second one fix common issues with two-step verification from Google account help. Like this, just tap that one, then you will be redirected to Google help center. After loading, you have to scroll down. Scroll down like you see in the video. Then you have to find out this one. If you don't have another step or forgot your password. Under that, you have to tap this link. Select this link. Follow the step to recover your account. So just tap this blue color link. After tapping that link, you will be redirected to this window. You can see this page for account recovery. To start, you have to enter the email address that you can't log in, in or hacker has been hacked. Like this, enter your email ID, then you can tap the next button to go forward. Then to log back into your account, they ask you to enter your password. Here, it is better you can enter your current password. As well as if the current password didn't work, you can try out any of your last password. But unfortunately, if any of your old password didn't work for you, all you have to do, just tap try another way. You can skip this option and you can try out another verification method. Like this, to show the worst case scenario, I will skip this option and I will tap try another way. Then it will show all possible two-step verification method one after another. Here, keep in mind at least you have to answer any of these questions or you have to respond to any of these two-step verification. After responding, they will allow you to add new recovery phone number or email address. Using that email address, easily you can recover your account. The last option was, I have to confirm my login using another device. So if you can access your account using another device, in the pop-up message, you can select confirm. Then you can log back into your account without having another two-step verification or call. But unfortunately, if you can't access that device too, all you have to do is just tap try another way. Now Google asks you to enter any authentication application code if you have turned on. According to your security level, you will get this recovery option. So if you didn't add that one, just tap try another way and just find out another options. Then you can see you can try out any of your backup code if you have already created. Then this one is important. You can select your recovery phone number. If you add a recovery phone number, you can get a verification code via SMS. If it is not accessible, just tap try another way to sign you in. After that, it will show all your recovery email address and alternative email address. Then I highly recommend you to select this recovery email address. Recovery email address is another email address other than your current email address. Most of the time, you can access this email address. After selecting that, they will send a one-time verification code via email. You can enter that code. After that, they will allow you to log back into your account. But unfortunately, if any of these recovery email address or any other recovery method didn't work for you, all you have to do is just tap try another way to sign you in at the bottom. After that, most of the time, you will get these two outcomes. Sometimes you might get couldn't sign you in error window. So if you couldn't answer any of their question, you might get this window. 
So if you got this error window, all you have to do, you have to jump into the second part. In that method, I have shown you different methods to log back into your account. And also luckily, if you got this get a link to recover your account, you can add a new recovery email address. So enter new email address as your new recovery email address, all other two step verification method and email address and contact details will be removed. Then this will be your primary email address. After entering this new email address, they will send a recovery link within few hours. Using that recovery link, easily you can create a new password and you can log back into your account without having any problem. But if you didn't get this outcome, don't worry, let's jump into the second method. Now you can close all these applications. Then for the second method, you can use any Google company application. Either you can use your Gmail, Play Store, YouTube, whatever the application on your device. It doesn't matter if you're an Android or iOS user, the recovery process is almost same. To show you, I will open Google application. And also you can use any other Google application too. Then you can follow the same process. Tap the profile icon in the top right corner. Then in the pop-up window, you can tap this down arrow. If you added some account, all the account will be listed out like this. Then you have to select add another account option. Select add another account. Then you will get this check-in info. Now it's taking your device info. After that, you will get this login page or recovery page. Here, enter the email address that you can't log back in. Like this, I will enter my Gmail ID. After entering your Gmail ID, tap the next button to go forward. Then you will get this password window. Here, I highly recommend you to enter any of your last password. If you have your previous password or current password, first you can try out with that one. If it is say it has been changed, you can try out any of your previous password that you used to log into your Google account. After entering any last password, it will redirect to two-step verification page. Here you can see I have turned on this two-step verification. Within this list, you can see all the two-step verification that you have turned on. You can use any of these two-step verification. You can use your passkey, you can use your fingerprint or any other biometric data, or you can use another device. If even it is offline, you can use those code. As well as if you turn on two-factor authentication using another application, you can get code or you can use any backup code. But unfortunately, in worst case scenario, if you don't have access to any of these two-step verification, you have to select the last option, get help. If your interface is not like the same, just try to go forward like this. It will show one after another. So within this list, you have to select at least one of these verification methods. So you can tap try another way to see is there a new two-step verification that you can access. As well as you can use an older device, then they will allow you to recover your account. Then if you already added a recovery phone number, you can select that. If you insert your SIM card to this device, it will automatically allow you to log back into your account by sending verification SMS. Like this, it will automatically track you. Then if you can access this recovery phone number, you can get a verification code or you can just tap try another way to sign in. If you tap that one, then Google asks you to enter your new contact details. So it asks you how they can contact you. Here you can enter your new recovery email address. After verifying this new email address, all other email address will be removed from your account as well as all two-step verifications will be removed. So enter a new email address like this. I will enter new email address, which is not linked to any other Google account. 
as well as this email address should be accessible then it will send some recovery links and verification code after entering your new recovery email address you have to go back to your email inbox to check is there a new verification code that's why i ask you to use a google application instead of gmail application the problem is if you use gmail application you can't get the recovery code to the same recovery email address that's why i ask you to use the google application or any other google application instead of gmail like this you have to go back to your new recovery email address then you can see there is a verification code you have to copy this code to the clipboard like this you can open that email then take a long press and copy the clipboard after that you can paste that code there so all you have to do enter the, that code there then this will be your new recovery email address like this i will after that i will go back to my application then take a long press after that you can paste the code here after pasting tap the next button to go forward then you will get this kind of notice you have wait another 48 hours in my case i have to wait another 48 hours to get a recovery link but your case it might be different sometimes they will send within four hours six hours eight hours it will be different to account to account and security level and what are the activities that hackers has carry on so after few hours you can check your gmail application here you have to check your new recovery email address then you can see this kind of new email from google so google account recovery request i will open that email like this you have good news you can log back into your account by tapping this sign in button they have mentioned they have disabled all two-step verification method after logging back to your account you can re-enable those so to log back into your account without having any two-step verification just tap the sign in button after that they ask you to enter a new password so you can create a new password without having access to your old password enter your new password twice then tap the change password button using this password easily you can log back into your hacked google or gmail id this is just one way to recover your account there are alternative ways to log back into your account without having access to two-step verification or other recovery method if you want to find out all those videos you can find those videos links in the description box or you can click this entry screen videos and come on over that's it for today's tutorial see you in the next one later